Hey. Yes? This is Ricky Padilla. I had a phone call that I won the contest. I entered on Facebook. Oh, yes. Mr. Padilla, you're expected. They said I could pick up my reward anytime today. Come in. We'll be right with you. If you just sit in the waiting room, there are magazines and free Wi-Fi. Just wait for your name to appear on the big TV screen and take the door on the right. Okay. No, wait a second. I didn't get the Wi-Fi password. Hello? The free Wi-Fi? Huh. <sighs> so it turns out that New Mexico has the fourth highest percentage of uninsured motorists in the country. That's twice the national average. And you know what that means. Higher insurance premiums for all of us. What an idiot. You know who else really gets my goat? Hit and runs. Come on, I want my thousand bucks. So it's not even a felony for someone who damages a car and leaves the scene of a crime? It's only a third degree felony to knowingly leave the scene of an accident where someone dies. You know that most people would do the right thing, but a lot of people don't. It's really sad. So, even though we know, like, it's gotta be that these people have other problems, like they have drugs or alcohol in their systems, it's likely that they'll get away with their crime. And you know, I bet the majority of these people don't even feel bad about it. They've left the scene and let someone die. And they've killed someone. Shut up about it already. Weird. Hi. Yo. Are you here because of the contest? Yeah. You? Yeah. A thousand bucks. I can go rock on. How long have you been waiting? Not sure. Not that long, I guess. Feels like forever. Yeah, I gotta get out of here pretty quick, you know? I'm on my lunch break, so... There was supposed to be Wi-Fi, but... Oh, dude! Look at this magazine in Century Times, the Freeze of Righteous Brothers. What is this crap? This is kind of a weird setup. I mean... Where's the receptionist? In the back somewhere. This is central. Could be dangerous, right? People on the streets and crap. That's why they got that door security, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Did they, uh... Did they tell you whether you were getting your money in cash? I I thought it was a check. At least for me, I I don't know about you. (laughs) Yeah, that's safer. Hmm. I thought I was the only one. Huh? Oh, come on, hurry up. I'm parked the mirror. I only put in for 15 minutes. Where'd you park? Motorcycle. Huh. Wait, was that busted piece of crap yours? <laughs> Your windshield's practically falling off. It's... Hey, don't knock it. Gets me where I need to go. <laughs> no license plate. So what? When I get my money, I can afford a new bike. A Harley. Huh. Well, you won't see me sticking around this hellhole. You got it all planned out? Thailand. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I've been planning it for oh, a long time. It's just, you know, surfing, snorkeling, ripping off the tourists, <laughs> <laughs> living cheap. It's, oh, it's paradise, you know? <laughs> well, you got more imagination than just buying a new bike, huh? Yeah, dude. Moving to L.A. Playing the clubs. <laughs> You're in a band. Huh. You play around here? I- I've done a few gigs. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't think that thing was even on. Hey, where's the power coming from? Is that Miss 
Evangeline Vargas. Yes, who is this? Miss Vargas, I'm calling from Wells Fargo Bank Fraud Protection Line. Oh. Your checking account may have been compromised. Oh, dear. In order to lock down the account to prevent further unlawful access, I'm going to need to confirm a few details with you. Well, uh... Your full name is Evangeline Maria Vargas. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Could you please confirm your full social security number? What the hell is this? What? Hey. Hey, is someone there? Five, two, five, six, oh, three, four, five, one. Hey, take it easy. It is vital I confirm the full details of your debit card associated with this account. Shouldn't you have that information already? Where is the off switch? I, I, I... Ma'am, I cannot <sighs> view these details from here. It's really important that I get these details from you right away to stop this card fraud. Oh, well, all right. Oh, yeah. Look, look. I think it's flashing your name. What? Sybil Feldman. Please, Please go through the door on the right to collect your reward. Ricky Padilla. Please, Please go, go through, through the, the door, door on the right, right to, to collect, your, collect reward. your reward. Well, I ain't waiting around. Wait. What? Wait. What the dates on the magazines? They're really old. So? Look. 1985, 1973. I mean, this, this setup, that's really weird. I, I don't like it. I, I'm getting out of here. Oh, the frigging door's locked or something. What? Let us out. Hey, hey, we don't want your stupid reward anymore. Hey, speak for yourself. Sybil Feldman, please go through the door on the right to collect your reward. Hey, let us out of here. Ricky Padilla, please, go through the door on the right to collect your reward. Lady, are you deaf? Let us out. You know what really gets my goat? Hit and runs. Uninsured motorists. Like you, Ricky. Hey, now that ain't cool. I ain't never had a bad trip like this before, man. And I don't like scammers who prey on old people. Like you, Sybil. I don't like that one bit. Is that true? Just let us out. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw this on TV once. And if, if we're dreaming, we won't be able to come up with random numbers. What the hell? Just try it. Come on, just, just give me a number. 82. 29. Oh, damn it. Try again. 40. 127? You're not dreaming. Then what the hell is this? Let us out. I owe my mom. I'll never do it again, I promise. I would never have done it if I thought I was going to get caught. Hell is for Other People was written by Leslie McMurtry. Featuring Lauren Walton as Ricky, Sarah Golding as Sybil and Mrs. Vargas, Courtney Knight as the receptionist, Steve Blizzon as the radio announcer, and Headley Knights as the man. Dialogue edited by Fiona Thrale and sound design by Steve Blizzon. This production is copyright 2018 by Fiona Thrale and Steve Blizzon. <laughs>